Hi guys, so I just posted, I mean I just, not posted, I just did a video on this look right here, this rose gold cut crease look with some glitter liner on the crease. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Please like, subscribe, comment, and put the little bell up so you guys know when I upload. And please leave suggestions down below on what I should um, do in my next video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and thank you. So yeah, let's get into the video. Hey guys, so I already did my eyebrows and my eyelids off camera. And I'm really hating this acne I got this morning like... Why do these things have to happen to me? But I'm taking the Modern Renaissance palette on a, f and I'm taking a fluffy crease brush, and I'm just putting Golden Ochre in my crease just to really blow it out, and so it looks more seamless, you know. And then I'm taking Love Letter Venetian Red and Red Ochre on a smaller crease brush from e.l.f. And I'm just putting this directly into my crease and blending it out. And I'm also like elongating it so it's more like a wing, like cat eye eyeshadow. So when I cut the crease, you know, it's gonna look good. But don't worry if it looks kind of weird or it looks um, crazy. Because we're going to take the concealer and it, when we take the concealer and cut the crease, it'll look better. And also we're going to blend it out again. So I'm taking on a fluffy Wet n Wild brush. I'm taking Love Letter and Venetian Red. And I'm just blending those colors back into my crease just to make it look more seamless and blown out. And then after that, I'm taking a small fluffy like definer brush also from e.l.f. And I'm going to take Red Ochre and just outline my crease with this darker color so it's more noticeable. And I'm also taking it a little bit above my normal crease just so when I put my lid shade, my eyeshadow will show. And then I'm just taking the brush I use for Golden Ochre and I'm just blending everything out again. And I'm taking the NYX HD Concealer in beige on a small wet and wild angled brush and I'm just cutting my crease with this also doing like a wing just like I did with the eyeshadow And then I'm going in back with this brush I used for red ochre. And I'm going to do the same thing since with the concealer it like flat I mean flushed the color. I want it to show more and it's for it to be more noticeable. So I'm just going back in with that brush and just reapplying red ochre. And then I'm just blending it all out with a fluffy brush. Then for my glitter, I mean not my glitter, my eyeshadow like primer, like it's like a glitter, yeah, glitter glue. I'm using the Duo Lash Glue and I'm just doing this by patting it onto my eyes because if you rub it, the glue will get stuck in those creases and it won't really look good. Trust me, I know. But I'm going with a flat shader brush from e.l.f. And I'm taking the Mica Cosmetic Shimmer Powders in Tease and Earth. These powders are so beautiful and they're really pigmented. I just love these powders, honestly. And they're super finely milled. But I recommend them, like, a lot. So I'm just putting this on my eyelid. And then I'm taking the Physician's Formula Eye Booster Eyeliner in Black. And I'm just doing my wing with this, you know, because you got to have that. Girl, you gotta have that snatched. You gotta have that snatched wing. You already know. <laughs> and 
And so I did my other eye off camera and I also did my eyelashes. For my eyelashes, I used the Ardell Wispies. And for primer, I'm using the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. And, you know, my face is ugly like always, but it's okay. And I'm just putting this into my skin and rubbing it until I feel that it gets tacky on my face. And I absolutely love this as a primer. Thanks to Nikki Tutorials because, you know, she just, like, it's amazing, you know? And then I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in a black bean. And I'm putting this on my waterline. But I suggest to, like, set it with a black eyeshadow or something because this... For me, it does not last in the waterline at all. After like 20 minutes, I can already see it on my, like under my eyes. Like it was not lasting. So I'm taking the NYX Glam Eyeliner in 24 karat. And I'm just outlining my crease with this. Just to have a pop of glitter. And since the eyeshadows I used for my litter are more rose and gold tone, I think thought this would be a perfect match because I couldn't find any rose gold eyeliners out there. And so then I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in number 128 Warm Nude and I'm just putting this all over my face with my fingers and it might look like it doesn't match my forehead but it does match the rest of my face. You know, I just have a big forehead so it just catches the light so I can't help it. And so then I'm just taking an Ulta Beauty Sponge and I'm just blending that all over my face. And I'm sorry the lighting is terrible. I was using, I don't have like professional lighting so I always use the sunlight. And I don't know why but it just like does that all the time. Maybe it's because I'm so white or something. I don't know. I also really recommend this beauty sponge. It's super good and it's super bouncy. And Ulta also sells it in like a two pack for like $10. So it's a, actually a really good deal. Since the beauty blender is like $20 for, for $10, you're getting two. I think that's a good deal. So I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla as my concealer today. I think I need to get a new shade because it's becoming a little bit too light for my face. So, I'm just taking it on the problems, like the problem areas, so like where I have my pimples and stuff, and on my under eyes. And I'm also blending that with the same Ulta Beauty sponge. And yeah. And so then I'm just going to bake with the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder in Translucent. At first I was going to do, I was going to use like a wedge, like, you know, one of those things they use for makeup. But it wasn't really working out, so I just used the powder puff it came with. And I'm just applying it to my under eyes and wherever I put that concealer. And also I'm just going to put it on the bridge of my nose because that's where my foundation tends to break up. I don't even know why because I don't have oily skin like. And so I'm just taking a little smudger brush and I'm going to blow out my lash line with the same colors I used for my crease except for golden ochre. And I'm just blending that out in my lower lash line. And since my eyeliner was actually like already coming off, it more looks like a dark dark red under my lash line but if you have an eyeliner that really lasts in your waterline that's black then those colors you put in the crease will be more vibrant and will show more true to their colors and so then i'm just 
taking that bake off with a fluffy angled brush from I don't know where I think I call it at the dollar store honestly <laughs> I don't really like to invest in expensive brushes but I really do want to invest in Morphe brushes so just tell me which one you guys suggest for Morphe brushes because I really don't know which ones to get and so now I'm going to contour with the NYX contour palette and I'm taking those two middle shades that I always do and I'm just contouring those cheekbones so yeah And so then after that, I'm going to take a fluffy rounded brush that I have right there. And I'm taking the warmest shade in the contour palette. And I'm just going to use that to bronze the skin. And I'm not going too heavy on the bronzer today. Because I'm going to be applying a blush. And I feel that the blush with a lot of bronze on the skin would not look good. So I'm just lightly bronzing. And so then I'm taking the Sephora Pro Angled Blush Brush in number 49. And I'm taking the Ofra Cosmetics Blush in Rendezvous. I think that's how you say it. But this is a really pretty, like, muted mauve shade. I really don't know how to explain it. But it's more like a rosy color with a lot of brown tones in it. I really didn't want to go heavy on the blush because I wanted to the skin to look a little bit more natural since we lit we went a little heavy on the eyes and i'm really going along with the rose tones in my face and i'm going to take the wet n wild precious petals highlighter which is very rosy for me on my skin and i'm just taking that and just highlighting my my cheekbones my nose and my cupid so also taking that on my brow bone just to make it you know more natural since those are the high points of my face and then I'm taking the NYX lingerie liquid lipstick in I don't know what shade I'll probably link it down below but I really didn't like how it looked just matte. So I also went along with a Victoria's Secret lip gloss, which I also do not know the name of. And I'm just applying that since it's very rosy and I thought it would go great with this look. And so I'm just applying that to my lips. And then I'm just setting my face with the Derma Blend ready and go I think that's what's called setting spray and I'm just applying that all over my face and yeah so there's the finished look guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video please like subscribe and comment and yeah thank you guys for watching